Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to look at how to jump in VR by using the character controller. This idea came from a viewer, so if you have any suggestions just leave them in the comments and we will surely consider them for the future. This video is going to be a short one, so let's jump right into Unity. For this tutorial all I set up is an environment with some cubes that we can jump on and then of course we have an XR origin this XR Origin has a continuous move provider, which we are controlling with the left hand. We have a snap turn provider, which we are controlling with the right hand. And then, of course, we have the character controller, as well as the character controller driver. Very importantly here, you need to set the skin width to a very low value, for example 0.001, because if it's any higher than this, this means that we have a higher distance between the player and the ground. If this distance is too big, we are not detecting if we are touching the ground. And we need to detect if we are touching the ground to be able to jump. Because if we are not touching the ground, we don't want to be able to jump. So if we set it to a very low level, it will always detect if we are touching the ground or not. And it will also detect the ground when we are running. So you will notice, if you set it to a higher skin width, that sometimes the jumping is not being triggered. However, if you set it to a low value, it is much more consistent. All we have to do now is create a new script and call it jump and let's open it up. Alright guys, let's first clean up our script. First thing we want is input action reference. This is going to be the reference to the button that we want to click on our controller to be able to jump. Then we need to set a jump height that we can adjust in our inspector. Then we need a gravity value. We need that for character controller movement. According to the Unity documentation, the gravity value should be minus 9.81. Two more variables that we need are the character controller itself. And then we need to set the player velocity as well. Firstly, we're going to get a reference to our character controller in the awake method. Since this is the only thing we need to get in the awake method, we can write it in one line. Next, we want to subscribe and unsubscribe from our input action reference action. So when we performed our action, we want to call a callback method and we're going to call this method jumping. Let's just create this method and before we forget, let's also unsubscribe from this event. So it's basically going to be the exact same thing, but we put a minus here to unsubscribe. Now, first of all, as I mentioned before, we are not grounded, we don't want to jump. So, we're gonna say if the character controller is not grounded, we just want to return. If it is grounded though, we want to take the player velocity on the y axis. What this line of code is going to do, it's going to change our height position of the player according to the jump height that we can adjust in the inspector. Now, to apply movement to a character controller, we need to call the move method of the character controller in the update function. Let's create that. We check here again if our player is grounded. And if our movement on the y-axis is zero, we don't want to move the player at all. So we're going to set the player velocity, the y-axis, to zero. Now to the movement. If we have some movement on the y-axis, we're going to add the gravity value to it, times time.delta time. .delta time. 
And now we are ready to move the player. For that, we just call character controller.move and give it the player velocity times time dot delta time. And that's it. Now let's set up our script. We go to the origin and we attach the script to our XR origin. Here we have to reference the button with which we want to be able to jump. Let's say our button is the right hand select, which is the grab button. Let's set it. We save our project and then we are ready to test. Before we test guys, I wanted to show you how you can set a new button. So if you want to call the jumping with another button that you haven't set already and you don't know how, let me show you. You just go to the samples, XR interaction toolkit, starter assets, and you open this XRI input actions. Since jumping is part of the locomotion, let's just go to right hand locomotion and here we can just add a new action. Let's call it jump. And jumping is going to be a button. This is correct. Now you can choose with which button you want to be able to jump. Let's click on generic XR controller. Go to XR controller, right hand, optional controls. And now you can choose whichever button you want. If you then want to use this specific button, just go back, save, go to your script. And now if you type in right hand jump, you can see the new input action that you created. Simple as that. All right, guys, as you can see here, I press the select button, which is the grip on the right hand, and I can jump. Also, we can just jump when we are running. We can jump down from other objects. And everything works. Great. Awesome, guys. And that's it for this video. Today, we learned how to jump with a character controller. We hope you guys learned a lot. And let us know in the comments what you want to see next. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel or leaving us a like. You can find the source code for all the videos on our Patreon. For questions, feel free to join our Discord and we are happy to answer you. See you next time.